In this video, I'm going to walk you through the necessary steps on how to upgrade the P620 system to the latest AMD Threadripper Pro Chagall CPUs. The new AMD Chagall CPUs are drop-in compatible parts that require only a basic system BIOS update in order to function properly. It's critical to note that BIOS 45A is the earliest BIOS release needed for the P620 system to boot with AMD Chagall CPUs. However, there are a few things to check before flashing straight to BIOS 45A. If starting BIOS is less than BIOS 26A, please be sure to flash to BIOS 26A first before flashing to BIOS 45A. As long as your starting BIOS is greater than or equal to BIOS 26A, then please proceed with flashing directly to BIOS 45A. If starting BIOS is at BIOS 21A or 22A, please be sure to move the JP55 jumper shown here from pins 1 to 2 to 2 to 3 prior to flashing to BIOS 26A. After you flash the system to BIOS 26A successfully, power off the system and move the JP55 jumper back to the default position on pins 1 and 2. Then, continue to flash up to BIOS 45A. In this example, we'll show you how to flash the P620 BIOS using the flash from EFI shell utility, although any BIOS flash method should work sufficiently. If you happen to choose another BIOS flash method, such as flash from OS or flash from ISOmedia, please review the BIOS flash readme document. Step 1. Format a USB memory key to a FAT32 file system. To do so, right click on your USB memory key, select format, then make sure your format type is FAT32 and select start to begin formatting your USB memory key. Then, extract the contents of the J3 zip package directly to the root of the FAT32 USB memory key as shown here. Next, insert the USB memory key into any one of the USB ports of your P620 system. You will likely need to disable Secure Boot. To do so, boot into BIOS F1 Setup, select the Security menu option, then scroll down the list and select the Secure Boot option. Then select Disabled from the drop down menu. Press the function F10 key to save and exit BIOS setup. Press the function F12 key at the Lenovo splash screen to view the startup boot menu. Then select your BIOS USB key created in the previous step. The system should automatically start the flash process. It will ask you if you want to update your system serial number. Press N for no. It will then ask you if you want to update your machine type model. Press N for no. BIOS will then begin flashing. BIOS will continue updating. As BIOS finishes updating, the system will do a series of warm reboots. 
After a few warm reboots, press the function F1 key to enter BIOS setup and verify BIOS has updated correctly. Now it's time to swap the CPUs. Make sure AC power is unplugged. Unplug the four wire fan connectors for both CPU fan 1 and CPU fan 2 and note the specific location for each connector. Review the screw assembly order on the label located on top of the CPU heatsink. Here's a close-up picture of the CPU heatsink label showing the proper assembly and disassembly order. Using a 6-inch Phillips number 2 screwdriver bit, unscrew the four retaining screws in the order specified. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Carefully remove the CPU heatsink assembly. To open the CPU socket, use a Torx T20 screwdriver bit to unscrew the three fasteners in the following order. 3, 2, and then 1. Note, the CPU socket is spring-loaded, so be extremely careful it doesn't fly open. Separate the CPU from the socket by lifting straight up on the blue tabs. With the CPU tray in an upright position, carefully pull on the tab of the orange carrier frame and slide the entire CPU out of the CPU tray. Try to avoid touching the electrical contact points on the bottom of the CPU. Install the new CPU and carrier frame into the CPU tray while leaving the CPU tray in the upright position. Push down on the CPU tray using the blue tabs to secure the CPU tray assembly into the CPU socket. You should hear a slight click when the CPU is properly seated. Close the CPU socket. Using a Torx T20 screwdriver bit, Tighten the screws in the following order, 1, 2, and then 3, to 14 inch-pounds. Apply some thermal grease directly to the CPU heat spreader in a similar pattern shown. Then, align the CPU heatsink with the CPU socket, ensuring the fans are facing toward the rear of the system. Secure the heatsink by tightening down the four retention screws using a Phillips number no. 2 6 inch screwdriver bit to 5 inch pounds in the following order shown.
Make sure to reconnect the four wire connectors for CPU Fan 1 and CPU Fan 2 to the appropriate headers on the motherboard. For additional details on removing and installing CPUs within the ThinkStation P620, please refer to our CPU Removal and Installation white paper that can be found on the Lenovo support site or direct link listed here. The final step is to plug AC power and boot up the system. The following prompt will likely appear during BIOS post on the first boot with a new CPU. Any Threadripper Pro CPU that is installed on the P620 platform for the first time will be bound via a one-time programmable fuse to Lenovo signed BIOS code. By selecting Y to fuse the CPU to the motherboard, the fuse processor will now only function on motherboards using Lenovo's code signing key. After selecting Y to fuse the CPU to the motherboard, the system will now reboot. Feel free to enter BIOS F1 setup to verify BIOS properly recognizes the CPU under System Summary.